In this video, we're going to be looking at two examples of actual um, responses from students from past papers. To be more specific, the uh, January 2017 impromptu website uh, evaluation. Um, before I tell you what grade they actually got, I'm going to show you um, their responses first. And then I'll allow you to pause a moment, uh, to pause the video, and then ask yourself what grade would you give them. Bearing in mind there are six marks and that most people would struggle or do struggle to get the full six marks. So I'll show you candidate A first and then I'll open candidate B. Now if you need to, feel free to open the first video in the series, Understanding the Evaluation Task, um, to have a look at the examiner's um, marking criteria and what it is that they're looking for to give you a better understanding. Um, because marking this blind won't, won't work. So this is candidate A, and just from the size alone you can see this is the task that you'd get, uh, this is what it looks like. So you can see this is what uh, you would typically get. So uh, you get this text box. Uh, it gives you three items that you need to look at. So explanations of uh, your important design decisions. What did you make and why? Justifying them. Just so justifying them, and then suggesting further improvements. And this is all this person said. The design decisions I made were to use alternative text and also some other accessibility features such as not using red and green together for visually impaired users. I use simple yet relevant colours, which were the same as the colours on the logo, so it looked professional. So this is all they said, there's nothing else underneath. I want you to just pause the video here and ask yourself, out of six marks, how many would you give? Would it be in a level one bracket, level two bracket, or level three? Level one meaning one to two marks, level two meaning three to four, level three meaning five to six. Okay, hopefully you've paused and you've got an idea as to what mark you'll give. Some of you might look at this and say you're not going to give any marks at all and be very, very strict. Some of you might say one or two. The actual score for this particular person, and I'll show you the commentary from the examiner themselves. Um, going all the way down. There we go. One mark. So this person, uh, not surprisingly, uh, got one mark out of six, and you can see why. So it's very uh, simple. Although the evaluation is very short, the student has justified the design decision to choose uh, use the same colours as the logo, which is worthy of a credit. Consequently, a mark at the bottom of level one, meaning grade one, has been awarded. So because this person identified uh, the fact that the colours match the logo and that makes it look professional, they gave the lowest mark they can get for level one, which is a one. The highest mark for level two is a two. So that's what this person got. Let's have a look at the candidate B. So candidate B, and again, I'm going to show you. I'm not going to read this one because it's a little bit more lengthier, uh, which is a step in the right direction in terms of how much you should write. So you can see here, there's quite a lot. In fact, I believe it goes over to the second page, which is great. However, reading this, I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask you to pause it here and ask yourself, reading through this, so pause here, and once you've read all the way to client brief, I'll scroll down, pause it here, and again down to here. Now ask yourself, judging from what they've dis discussed, the examples they've given, it seems like they've given quite a few beats, uh, bits of um, information, some specific um, design features, what score would you give to this person out of six? Again, watch the first video in the series if you must remind yourself what the marking criteria is and keep that number in mind. Okay, so I'm going to now show you the commentary. So this is candidate B. So first things first, let's look at the score that they received. So, okay, this person also got one out of six. Now that might be surprising to you, but that proves one thing: that the quantity 
isn't the only thing that counts here. It's not enough to actually write a lot if the quality isn't there. If you're not talking about the right things in the right way, you might be losing out on marks. So this is really, really important. So this person only got one mark after all of that writing. And this probably took him, took this person a good 15 minutes to type this up anyway. Um, which is, again, highlights how important it is to really understand this uh, task before actually attempting it. This is why practicing this is so important. So let's look at what the, <coughs> excuse me, the commentary is, what the examiner said about it. Um, the evaluation includes a lot of narrative about what the candidate has done. However, the candidate does not make valid comments about the consistency of font style and background. Based on these explanations of design decisions, it is appropriate to award a mark at the lower end of level one. So yes, this person talks about a lot about what they've done, but no specifics about why going to the client brief, talking about the, the target audience, talking about the company themselves, talking about how it makes, what kind of impact it makes, and then talking about the improvements themselves, specific design features and specific improvements that are justified and realistic. So you can see that it's not just about how much you write, but what you write. And it's, it's kind of crazy when you think about that the first person who wrote a fraction of what the second person wrote, candidate B, got the same exact score. Now in the next video, I'm going to show you an example of someone who did a lot better than these two individuals. And we're going to discuss and explore why they did better and exactly how, what you can take away from it to make sure that you do better uh, in yours as well.